And I can also draw a page here using my page tool so I can freehand draw pages. <laughs> So now let's get into the new tools found in Inkscape 1.2 and one that has been the most highly anticipated probably is going to be the new page tool. This is going to be most similar to Illustrator's artboard tool. So yes, now you can have multiple pages or multiple artboards inside of your Inkscape compositions. So let me just move down a little bit here on the canvas. And if I come over here to the left side in my toolbar at the very bottom, you're going to have your page tool and it just says create and edit document pages. So click on this. And now we have our brand new page tool here if you look at my mouse. And we also have the tool options up top here for this. So this kind of allows for some easier ways to create a new page. So let's start with that. If I come over here and click this create a new page icon, it's automatically going to create a brand new page or a brand new artboard if you wanna call it that, just off to the right of my original canvas. And you're gonna see that by default, it will create the same size canvas as what you have currently set up. But if you wanted to create a new canvas in your composition using a totally different size, you can do that as well. So let's come over here to the drop down, And I believe actually this is gonna change my currently active canvas, which is this one. So yeah, that will update this canvas here. And I can also draw a page here using my page tool. So I can freehand draw pages and I can hover my mouse over these pages and I can click and drag them around to relocate them. So there you can see I can move them to wherever I want. Let me hit Control Z to back up to where this was the same size as this. And let's say I wanna move this underneath here. So I don't have any kind of real snapping turned on right now. Uh, so it's not totally uh, perfectly aligned there, but there you can see we've rearranged this so that this is below the first canvas. So let me come over here, grab the shape tool for the ellipse and just click and draw an ellipse in here. So something else you can do as long as you have the artboard tool selected is you can come over here and you can shrink this down to whatever shape is inside here. So if I click on this icon, you'll see it'll shrink that down and let me hit control Z. So another feature that comes with this new multi-page tool is gonna to be down here, this little drop down. This allows me to navigate between whatever active page I want. So right now, I'm not really on either page, but I can center up on page one, for example, and then come over here and center up on page two. I don't really like the way this is kind of set up. It's sort of glitchy with the arrow. See how that arrow kind of flickers and it kind of gets in the way. You can also use these little left or right arrows to navigate between these as well if you want. And along the same lines, I can come up top here and I can navigate between the different pages. So there I'm on page two, now I'm on page one. So coming over to page two, I can come over here and I can click this icon to delete the page. So now that page is gone along with all the objects in it. And I'll hold control and zoom in. So let's come over here, create a new document again. And let's say that I have some objects overlapping with this page. So for example, if I move this page so that it overlaps with some of these objects here, we have this option turned on right now that says move overlapping objects as the page is moved. So now if I move this page, you're gonna see those objects will now get picked up. And so they will now move with this page. That's just one way to help Inkscape understand what exactly is part of the page since you can have overlapping objects. So if you don't want these items being considered part of another page, you can turn this feature off and now it's only gonna move whatever is inside, totally inside the artboard there. So let me hit Control Z to back up. So I can also delete a page with the page tool selected here by hitting the delete key on my keyboard. So that is another way to get rid of that. So with multi-page support also comes support for multi-page PDFs. So yes, you can now export two multi-page PDFs from Inkscape 1.2. Let me hit Control Z to back up and get this artboard here or this page uh, reinstated here in our composition. So I can go to File, Save a Copy. And if I come over here, I can go down to PDF and this will export these pages as a multi-page PDF. So I'm not gonna do that right now. Let me just exit out of there. And now we can delete that artboard.
But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.